what up y'all dash games and today we headed to springfield arkansas baby see you in a minute peace riding around with yeah got a grind hard got us that get it yeah 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 grind hard gotta get it yeah 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 grind hard got us that get it yeah 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 I'm just really a new breed on you, dawg It hurts to say that people keep no loyalty Work your way, real and show that loyalty Cause I still ride with them When I go see them, I just hit fire with them 20 years in, you can't get tied to it Boys, boys to the men, and we get tied to it, ayy What up, y'all? Dash Kings with TG, man and Yeah, I'm over here in uh, North Vernon, uh, Indiana I had to pick up a load at the Lowe's DC. And we are taking that to Springfield, Arkansas. Or Springdale, Arkansas. So, you know, as I usually do, man, I always do my, my pre-trip. I gotta, I'm under a new trailer. So I gotta do my pre-trip. Boy, my, the trends on my drive, boy. Ooh. Boy, that's a good trend there, man. It ain't too many tires. It ain't too many people that got tires like that on their drives. Yeah, obviously we gonna check. I'm locked in. You know, lights stop, brakes, left, right, bow, boom, bow. Yeah, man. So we've been ripping and running, man, lately. See my, uh, yeah, there you go, left side blinker or driver side blinker. Been ripping and running lately, and um, you know, I've uh, been trying to edit these videos out to make sure I get them out to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, stuff been good though. I've been in and out of Chicago a lot, as you seen, and I took a second trip to Detroit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Detroit when it's hot, man. When Detroit is hot or when it's warm, it's a fire city, man. I fuck with Detroit. But uh, yeah, man, so I'm gonna be taking my uh, home leave fairly soon here. So, you know, just, just trying to get a little break, man. Hell, I've been running since uh april the 5th right now as i'm recording it is may the 6th so that's a full month i take my leave on the 17th so i'm gonna give them two full extra weeks on top of that you know you got to keep the money coming now got to do it right you know what i'm saying but it's like i said to you rookies to you new booties you know what i'm saying like try to run as hard as you can man try to run as hard as you can because uh, <clears throat> they'll be more lenient and giving you more time on your, on, on your time off or your, your your request for your time off. They'll be more lenient and giving you a couple of days because you ran so hard. Now, I can understand if you got a family and this and that, like, you know, young kids or you have kids or I understand. But, you know what I'm saying, in this trucking game, you got to always be available and ready. That's what matters to them. And if you're not going to show that, they're not going to really fuck with you like that or give you the time that you request. They're going to screw you. I'm telling you. I've heard of horror stories, dog. But let's check. Uh, tires looking good. Tires looking good. I ain't that. I left my gloves in the goddamn car. Sometimes you got to get your hands dirty, man. This ain't no pretty boy game here. Get your hands dirty. I've never been a pretty boy, though. You understand? But yeah, get your hands dirty. All right, brakes. Right, uh, uh, come on, brakes. Yeah, right. Yeah, so that's that's a quick little tidbit if you guys didn't know that, man. Make sure that you are running, and when you run hard, they'll, they'll tend to respect you a little more. Obviously, when you get your own truck, most more than likely people are trying to get their own truck, so you're gonna run hard regardless. You know what I'm saying? You gonna run hard regardless. So like, get used to it now as a company driver or you know, for whoever you with, man. Just get used to it now because when you get your own, you gonna have to run hard to maintain it, bro. Like, let's not act like that's just so hard to do. For real. Anyway, this is what I'm seeing right now. Let me check my baby out. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. So. This is a little tidbit for you guys. Just so y'all can get an understanding of what the hell going on, man. But, um, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready to get up on out of here. And uh, I'll check y'all in a minute. Peace. What up, y'all? Dash Kings. We in the loop with it. As y'all see the arch. Downtown. The whole shebang. Definitely in the loop. This car getting better. It's getting better. I can show y'all. Yeah, so we making it to it. We making it away. We trying to go. You know what I'm saying? Making it to where we trying to go. Um, I got to drive there tomorrow from 7 to 5. So we got plenty of time. Just trying to cut down on the time. So we didn't finish for the day. I had a lot of parking in the Walmart. I had to park that bitch in the Walmart, man. Um, that's the thing, you know, when you uh, when you trucking and you trucking all day. Most of the times, you're not gonna get a good parking spot at really at any truck stop after five. You might find some. But you pushing it when you get about 637 pushing it so <clears throat> what you got to do is you got to be creative you know what i'm saying and being creative is going to walmart's uh um any stores you know what i'm saying um i know in the midwest they got a lot of a store that's kind of like walmart's called meyer we call it Meijis. I call it Meijis, but it's called Myers. Um, <clears throat> you know, go to these places, man. If they, uh, you know, ain't really got no parking at none of these, um, um, pretty much none of these uh, truck stops. You know, got to be creative, man, because when that clock running out, man, your clock running out, man, what you gonna do? You know, your clock is running out, man. You gotta, you gotta figure it out. You know, so. Like I said, man, keep your head on the swivel. Always keep your head on the swivel. Always making sure that you find a, a spot that's safe, that's lit, you know, you know. Because a lot of the times, man, you if you're running late, if you're running late, you're not going to find that parking, bro. Not at no truck stop. So that's why I say, man, like you kind of got to, kind of got to understand the scenario of how you're running what time you're running all of that is very important now i want you to look at what they got to deter truckers from parking and i think this is fucked up you know what i'm saying you want your stuff uh as far as these stores but then you don't want the trucks to park here and shit like that now i understand to a degree because a lot of these truckers are fucking disgusting but in the same sense it's like he's serving you in america he or she, you know, it's not just a men, it's not just men in trucking, but I mean, it's to me, this is disgusting, bro. This is fucked up. This is nasty work. I don't like this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm about to show it to you right now. I'm walking up to it, but this is disgusting. And, and you'll see like them shit is banged up. So <laughs> truckers ain't been giving no fucks about that. Out uh, here, I'm right out. Well, I'm outside, well outside of St. Louis, probably about 100 miles outside of south of St. Louis. So, but look, look at that. That's that's fuckery. In my eyes, that's complete fuckery and a complete waste of time. 
Complete waste of time, complete waste of everything, bro. Because I got my ass up in here. Period. None of that was going to stop me from getting up in here. None of this fuck shit y'all got. None of that peon shit. Goofies. None of that was going to stop me from getting up in here. And to all my other truckers that's out there, y'all see some shit like that, run that shit over. Because if we got to stop, we're not going to get no violations because y'all put some peewee shit like that up there. Period. That shit. That's some whole shit. I'll leave it at that. So. But yeah, man. You know, this is where I had to park, man. This is where I'm at for the night. So. I'm going to rock it like this. And uh, I'll probably hit y'all up in a little bit. All right, man. Peace. What up, y'all? Dash Games with TG. And uh, we had a malfunction, man. I was supposed to make my drop in uh, Arkansas, but as you see, <laughs> I am in the shop, baby. Y'all killing me with this <laughs> I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Y'all trying to kill me. You killing me, man. I had to go to the shop, man. My fuel filter uh, was fucked off, pretty much empty. I was in, and when I was riding up and down these hills, cause when you get to like the western parts of Missouri, it gets real hilly, and uh, my shit was not climbing at all. Like um, my shit was looking terrible, man. So um, yeah. Had to uh, get that fixed, as you see, definitely in the shop. Gotta get that fixed, man, and um, that's what's going on now. So I got another person coming up to pick up my trailer, and they gonna switch mines with an empty. So that's the way it goes sometimes, man. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you, sometimes you're gonna be in situations where it's like. Uh, my truck is acting up, and I know my baby. My mother, like, the nigga, the nigga was trying, but it was like, nah, it was weak. And come to find out, you know, it was a fuel filter. So, that being said, man, I ain't gonna hold you up too much. I appreciate, appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on my Instagram at dash underscore kings. That is with a Z. And remember, man, put your seatbelts on. Get ready for this ride. See you next time. Peace. How many ride with no kid? When we was kids, used to share a nigga real. And when things got crazy, a nigga spin the bend. And if things get crazy, a nigga split the wig. Yeah. I'm just grind, dog. I don't need no haters, all. If it's not about the bitch, it means you just talking, dog. Riding around with yeah, yeah. Gotta grind hard, gotta stack it, hit it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah.